What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Pat. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through my best local SEO tips and research strategies that you can implement for your own website if you're a business owner or if you're an SEO for your clients' websites. I'm gonna be going through SEMrush and my favorite tools that I use whenever I'm doing the initial research and analysis phase when it comes to my local SEO campaigns. Now, SEMrush is pretty much an all around tool for SEO and digital marketing, but I do have some specific features that I really like from SEMrush that I use on almost a day to day basis. So if you're stuck and you don't know how to get started or where you should start looking in regards of your research for your own website, then this is the right video for you. It's going to give you a good idea of how you can actually optimize your website around your target keywords and how to better optimize your content and even how to identify backlink opportunities from your competitors. All right, guys, the reason I love SEMrush is because it literally gives you all the tools that you'll need in order to be successful in your local market in regards of SEO, right? So if you're a business owner or if you're an SEO and you have clients, SEMrush is one of the best tools out there that provides pretty much so many tools that you never really have the time to really uh, go through them all. But I'm going to be going through some of my favorite ones in regards of local SEO. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. Um, so right off the back, if you go to the left hand side, you can see that they have a local SEO section, right? So if we click on this and then we have several different tools under local SEO that we can use um, in in terms of local SEO, you know, one of the biggest things in regards of your Google My Business rankings is going to be your business citations or business listings, right? So they have a very cool feature, uh, the listing management tool. And basically what this allows you to do is you put in your business name, uh, street address, zip and phone number, and it's going to actually check all the listings for you in case any of them are wrong or if you're missing any of them, um, at least the uh, more important ones, right? So let me go ahead and fill out the information for a client of mine. So, all right, guys, once you put in the business name, address, zip, and phone number, you're going, to, you're going to come to this page. And basically here, it's going to give you the directory, the status, and then the information of that particular business listing. So Amazon Alexa, Apple, Bing, Facebook, you, you can see here that we have not set up Facebook. So this is definitely going to be something to bring up with the client. And it looks like we're on most of the ones that we need to be. There's a few here, uh, Yellow Pages, Brown Book, Chamber of Commerce. Uh, this particular one looks like we're missing the phone number here. So we might want to go in there and check to see if we can get that corrected. Uh, host me, I begin. So if we wanted to guys, you know, we could make a list of all the ones that we're missing and then we can go over to somewhere like uh, legit or Fiverr and literally hire someone to to build out these particular business citations that we're missing right um, if you're on the budget and that's pretty much going to be the easiest way to do it guys um, whenever you are missing some of these important ones uh, PR business show me local looks like we're on that one super pages uh, tellos so we do want to make sure that we're getting listed on as many of these as we can uh, because it is still a huge factor in terms of your local SEO that you're listed on um, as many and the best business directories that you can get listed on. Right. Um, and these are most of the general ones that you would call that you would call like on a national level. And then, of course, you have your local business citations and you also have niche relevant directories. Right. Um, but basically, this gives you the top uh, directories that you need to get listed on. So if you do see any that are missing, make sure you go ahead and set those up. Or if you have a uh, different business information, you want to make sure that they're consistently the same throughout uh, all of them. Right. So this is the first tool that I like, guys. It makes checking your business citations very simple to do. The next thing that I really like, guys, is and this is actually not in the local SEO section, but 
I believe it's in the content marketing section is the SEO content template. You want to make sure you're staying uh, competitive when it comes to staying on top of your actual SEO. And the SEO really starts from the content, right? The content is the foundation to any SEO campaign. So this right here makes it very simple to do in order to figure out how to improve your current content and what else you need to do in regards of the competition. So if we go ahead and do, uh, I had done this earlier for one of my clients. So the target keyword here is Bay Area Movers. If we go to view SEO template, if you haven't already searched, you're just going to put your target keyword and click create SEO template. And then here it's going to give you a list of your top competition. It's going to give you semantically related words. So if you're missing any of these, you want to make sure that you're including all the ones that are relevant to your business in your actual content. And then it also lets you know what backlinks your competitors have that you should also be looking to get right. So we could go into each of these websites and see, you know, is it a directory? Is it a guest post? You know, is it a, a blog comment? What type of backlink are they getting? So we can also get it. And then it gives you the recommended text length, which is 779 words. This is also very important guys, because you want to make sure your text is around the same as the competition. Um, if you can a little bit more, what I really like here is if you already have, uh, let's say existing content, or you already started writing your content, you can go into the real time content check feature that they have and already posted pasted uh, the content here, which comes from this website right here, uh, Boutique Moving Services. So all I did was I just copied and pasted the content that we have currently on the homepage. And I went over here and I pasted it. Um, and then on the right hand side, it will give you kind of a score uh, out of 10. You can see right now we have an 8.1 according to the keyword that we typed in. And then here it's going to give you some other recommendations in terms of uh, readability. You might want to add a little bit more content. You can see that 779 words is right around the average uh, rewrite, hard to read sentences. I don't really, I don't really pay too much attention to that. Um, it's not really a huge deal. And then it also gives you some recommended keywords that we're currently missing, but we don't currently do long distance moving. So, that would not apply and they also are not currently offering storage so neither of these would apply but if they were you want to make sure you add those in there uh, within the content next this says use at least one of the target keywords in a title um, don't use each target keyword more than one time so that's not a huge deal we also want to make sure we're adding all tags to our images uh, let's go back here so we want to make sure our images have uh, optimized alt tags that have, you know, a descriptive uh, keyword in it, right? So for an example of this image here that we use in the header, these are all images that can also be optimized uh, with the keyword in the alt tag. So let's go back here. And then if we click on the SEO, it just gives you a little bit more uh, recommendations, target keywords. So this is the keyword that we're going after other recommended keywords. Uh, looks like I have most of the ones uh, that are relevant to us, right? Local moving, area movers, moving service. Um, and then uh, we went over that link issues. Looks like we're good in regards of uh, our links, title issues. We already went over that. But this is really useful, guys, especially if you're kind of new to SEO and you don't really know how to go about optimizing your current content. Or for an example, you can go in here and, and do a blog, try to improve a blog post, your homepage, service pages, right? This is very useful in order to make sure that your pages are being optimized as best as possible for your target keyword, right? It kind of takes the guessing out of SEO. So another really useful tool that I really like from SEMrush is the SEO content template tool. Really handy guys, highly recommend you guys to check it out. All right guys, so now I'm in my client's uh, organic research tab and we're looking at the keywords here. Um, and basically we've been 
it's only been right around a month since we officially published the content. You can see that uh, we're already getting many different rankings for many different keywords, which was the goal um, in regards of our SEO strategy. So we have different pages ranking for different keywords. So this is a junk removal page. This is a, a city page that we have. This is another city page. So you can see that we are getting rankings for different pages. Um, so once I go into here and we have quite a bit of keywords that are ranking between the second and uh, fourth page of Google. So many in the 20th, 30th uh, positions, which is a good sign because it's only been right around a month, uh, not haven't done any major link building. So this gives me a good indication that the on page is, is working right. It was done correctly. Um, we might just give it a little bit more time, start building some links, and these are going to see a increase uh, over the next few weeks, right? Um, but for an example, let's say you're in your uh, in your actual website and you're trying to do a competitor analysis, how you can improve a certain keyword in your particular area. And let's say I would do, I would want to find out how can I improve this keyword. So moving services, Berkeley CA. So this is a city in the Bay area of California that we're currently ranking uh, 26 for. We go ahead and do further analysis on this particular keyword. We can see that the page that is actually ranking is our actual uh, city page that we created, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna go over here and then let's scroll up to the keyword gap analysis tool. And basically here we're going to compare our page versus competitors pages. And the way you do this correctly is I'm going to go over to Google and I'm going to put in the target keyword that we want to do research on. And then let's go back here. Now you want to click where it says root domain because we only want to do competitor analysis on this particular page, right? We don't want to, use our home page we want to make sure we're comparing this landing page against our competitors pages so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on root domain and i'm going to go down to subfolder and then i'm going to paste our location page and now i'm going to go back into google and i'm going to take our competitors pages right so we can see most of these are also going to be other subfolders. So I'll go ahead and paste these other competitors into here. Um, and you can do as many as you can. Uh, it allows you to do up to four. So if you can, I would highly recommend you guys to get four of your competitors because the more you have, uh, the better data you're going to get. Then we're going to click on compare. And then right here, it's going to give you the top opportunity. So this is a top keyword that we currently don't have. And that's because we don't currently offer storage. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, but if we scroll down here, it, you can see it has the shared keywords. So most of the competitors have shared keywords missing. We already went uh, through the missing keyword, which was this one. But what I really like to look at is the untapped section. So these are untapped uh, keywords, right? And if we scroll over that, you can see keywords for which the domain has no rankings, but at least one of the other entered competitors do. So one of our competitors ranks for one of these keywords that we currently don't have. So we can go in here for an example, look at this, what county is Berkeley CA in? So this could be, for an example, like a question, right? A question that we can include um, in the actual uh, page. Uh, furniture moving service, we can also include that. Uh, small furniture movers near me. Uh, Berkeley CA Chamber of Commerce. Berkeley to San Diego distance. So you can see this gives you other ideas of further content that you can add on your actual pages that you might currently not have. So this is very useful because uh, if your competitors are doing it and they're getting high rankings, then it's a good indication that Google is rewarding their content and their page. So if you go into here, make sure you click on subfolder so you can analyze on a per page basis um, and, and you're going to get much better results doing it that way.
Next, we want to go into backlink gap analysis, which is primarily very similar to what we just did. Uh, let's see URL. So you can see we're currently filtering by this uh, one URL. So we're not going to get backlinks from the entire website. We're just going to find backlinks that were missing from their particular pages, which is what we want because uh, Google ranks pages. They don't rank websites, right? So it's very important that when you're doing an analysis on your service pages, um, you're not comparing it to like a competitor's homepage, right? Um, so we can go into here and we can see which one of these uh, websites we can also get backlinks from top rated local.com uh, let's see rating score uh, not sure exactly what that is maybe a directory i think that's what it was uh, let's click on this ninin.org so you can see the type of links that they're getting right like it's not it's not even a high quality um, this might be a pbn or something um, so let's go back here. Freelance writer startup, speed surfing. So yeah, guys, basically what you would want to do is very similar to the keyword gap uh, tool. You want to look for missing opportunities that your competitors have that you don't have, because if they have these backlinks and they're ranking, you know, in the top three positions, that means uh, they're doing something right. So you want to go into here, find the opportunities that you're missing and go out and try to get those backlinks as well. Um, and for the keywords, you know, go in there and add the keywords that you can or add some more content to that particular page using the untapped keyword section. And you're going to get much better results, guys. So those are my top tools for doing local SEO uh, analysis using SEMrush. Hope you guys got something out of it. Now that is all from this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got something out of it. If you did leave me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for the support this year. I know it's been a crazy year, but I know we've been getting through it and I can't stress how grateful I am for each and every one of you guys for watching my videos, for liking them, for subscribing. I'm really grateful for each one of you guys and I can't wait to see how my journey on YouTube continues growing and how I can better help you guys with your digital marketing and SEO needs. Follow me guys on social media. I have all my links below. Have a very good New Year's. I hope you guys spend it very well with your family. Many blessings to all of y'all. See you guys in the next one. Peace.